there's a lot of people who are listening that are really interested in either filmmaking or just even generally connecting with these movies. What's it like on the set of a horror movie? Is it like any other movie? Are there times where it gets a little, you know, a little, a little creepy or because of the environment you guys are creating? How is it like? The only creepy thing are the producers. <laughs> And they're scary, too. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, they know I kid. They know I kid. That was a joke, everyone. Um, God, um, you know, that's a strange thing. You put the buttons in. You cast it. You scout it. You, 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 you work on the scares, you know, and prep. You've put the buttons there. You push them. So it doesn't scare you, really, right? It was an interesting thing that happened on Texas Chainsaw because... While I was editing it, <clears throat> I went, you know, with a with the talented Glenn Scantlebury, of course. Of course. While I while we were editing it, um, I went like, it looks okay. The performance are good. I'm pretty much happy with what we've done here. Surprise, surprise! Because while you're doing it, you think this is going to be a train wreck, <laughs> and 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 it's always like kind of like works itself out. And then you go, but there's one thing I don't know: is it scary? I can't tell what's scary because in theory, you only know in theory, you put it there, <clears throat> but it doesn't hit you for the first time. And then Michael Bay actually had two desires after he saw it. He said, <clears throat> we got to do an additional shoot day and we're going to shoot Leatherface one more time coming out of the woods with one arm and the chainsaw lashing out yeah. at Aaron's car. <clears throat> okay. You know, they don't want the legend to die, right? I wanted to do a man and be done with it, right? The other one was uh, the pepper kill. They wanted to do something different, uh, uh, something more intense. So we shot like some shots of that. In any case, I'm shooting it. And the next day I'm coming to the editing room <clears throat> and I want to talk about the additional scenes and the editors watching the end of the movie. And what I didn't know is he put the scenes already in. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. So I'm watching what I thought I watched already 20 times or hundreds of times and he was just smoothing it out and suddenly what I shot was in there and I went, oh! <laughs> Got you, huh? And I shrieked at my own movie. That's the only time I had that experience. You know, you, you, it's hard to, <clears throat> you, you don't watch it like the audience.